Okay, today we're doing an installation on a 2018 F-150 EcoBoost with a 2.7 liter engine. Um, this will be the same for an 18 or a 19. And Randy here is gonna show us how to uh, install this kit on here. All right, first one I need to take off the engine cover. Take out your filler cap. And there's gonna be two bolts, one right here and then one over here. I've already loosened them up. You need a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna pop this off, the, uh, the vent line for the air box. There's two tabs here. And then you're gonna wanna get this bolt out. So that's eight millimeters. Okay, that's out. Let's just pop right out. I'm gonna come over here to the passenger side. Disconnect the factory PCV right here. It's little gray clips, you just push them forward and we'll come right off. There's your factory PCB. This kit. This kit does come with an ECSS. We're gonna go ahead and install that now. Okay, so this has the pressure sensor in the line. Yes. And that's just ready to go. Just drop right in and mm -hmm. replace the stock line. That's going to be back here. One side. There's the other side in your sensor. Just have a little button. Pulls right off. All right. There's your driver's side. You know, I'm gonna pause here just for a second and look at this. I don't know how well I'll be able to show this. But this is a brand spanking new truck at the dealership. And there is actually oil in the line. I don't know if you can see that in there, um, but it absolutely is oil in the engine in a brand new truck. All right. All right, now we're going to take the ECSS. Just a plug right into the top. This side will go into the intake tube. And then your sensor plug right in. That side's ready to go. All right, the next step, Randy's going to show us the uh, dual valve catch can here that we're getting ready to install on the driver's side frame rail. This is our patented four stage design.
comes with the drain valve, so you don't even have to open it. Just pop it open, drain it. And we're gonna mount it off this hole, off the frame. Mm -hmm. You right there? Yep. So the bracket's already threaded, right? And you're just screwing the screw in from behind the frame rail into the bracket, Yeah, right? the yeah. bracket is with thread and pulling it. In this particular kit, we've gone ahead and upgraded the uh, check valves to our Pro Series check valves. Now they work the same as our standard check valves. It's a one-way valve inside of these, but these Pro Series valves have a higher flow. So the higher flow allows for better vacuum to the engine which increases um, the evacuation, the miles per gallon, and uh, the ring seal, which helps everything, everything work better as it's designed while still filtering everything through the catch can. All right, now we have the can mounted. It's ready to go down here. First, we're gonna install our dirty line. My dirty line doesn't have any check valves in it. That's 290s. Comes it in here. Let's get around to the valve cover. And that line is going to go into the top of the can. The clean line. I'm going to run this. Make sure you go under the intake tube. Right there. And the other side, I'm gonna go on the can. All right, so that line is pulling vacuum until the engine goes into boost, and then the check valve closes off so that we're not pressurizing the crankcase. Next, we're gonna mount the watt line. Let's make this through here. Put it onto the can. And then we're gonna go right here on the on the line. Now we give you two options on this. You can either take a step bit and you can drill into the stock pipe around here and the step ends up being a 22 millimeter hole that you drill into this and then put the grommet in. Or for an additional $100, we actually sell the OEM, this is the factory pipe, already drilled right here for the, uh, for the grommet. And then that way, if you want to return the car to stock for any reason, you can just take the uh, UPR pipe out and put the original undrilled one back in. Now just remember that if you actually do the uh, the installation yourself uh, on your own pipe with the uh, with the drilling here, use grease on the um, on the step bit because that will capture any any little uh, pieces of debris that could get inside the uh, inside the pipe. But uh, you know it makes it easier if you just go ahead and buy this this pipe from us so that you have the stock piece and the uh, and the drilled one. Now to and to uh, drill the pipe, you're gonna need to remove these clamps. You have one down here, down there by the turbo, and the other one going to the air box, and the pipe will come right out. You'll have to drill this to uh, with a stip bit to uh, 22 millimeter, and use the provided grommet with the kit. Pop the grommet in. And then you're gonna get a fitting. Be able to twist the fitting in. And look like that. Okay, wrapping up the install. Now we've got the uh, the watt line connected. We're going to do the uh, the breather on the on the valve cover. Um, this actually replaces your oil cap, and what it does, it has a, uh, a one-way valve in it, so that uh, it can let any excessive pressure in the crankcase vent out to atmosphere and the filtration system in the catch can is still working as designed so it's just a nice added uh, benefit that you can choose from the drop down menu on our website Thank you. 
got the engine cover back on. The breather goes right there in place of the oil cap. And, uh, and this is good to go. You've got your four-stage catch can filtrating, all of the, uh, all the oil vapor out of the engine, and you've got your one-way breather that uh, is relieving any, uh, any excess pressure from the crankcase. And another side benefit of that is that in the wintertime, if the uh, situation comes up where temps drop uh, below freezing and you could possibly have some freezing in your, uh, in your lines, the one-way breather allows you to vent that pressure from the crankcase regardless of anything that the catch can is doing. So this kit in this configuration gives you the maximum uh, improvement and effectiveness of the parts available from UPR for this EcoBoost F-150. Just wanted to show you one option that we have for our catch can kit. We have a drain line that you can add on to an existing kit or order with your new kit. And uh, this way, instead of removing the catch can to drain it or trying to capture everything uh, in the vehicle, you can just attach this line to the bottom of the can here and then you can put this uh the valve you can zip tie it anywhere you want you can zip tie it here or anywhere that you feel is the most accessible for you to drain and then you just drain the uh, contents of the can right there without removing anything and it makes it quick and easy and that is available as a uh, as an add-on to existing kits or can be ordered with your original kit